episode of Rapunzel's Tiny Adventure slash Tangless series, Happiness Is. And before I start this review, oh my gosh. <laughs> this episode couldn't be any more perfect to end like the first group of episodes before a hiatus. Also, I will not be doing any challenges related to episodes because I realize that's going to be harder and no one really liked the idea when I asked them. They all thought what I was doing was normal or like fine. So I'm not going to be doing that challenge extra thing that I was saying I might do because I realized... Yeah, I take a long time review, and it's not just reviewing, it's also uh, my extra thoughts on it, so yeah. If you really want that, let me know, like, put in the comments, because, like, no one comments out, and everyone I asked said they didn't like it, so I'm not gonna do a challenge thing that, that relates to an episode. Anyway, we're gonna get right into this review, let's go. So this episode was kind of what most of the fandom expected, but kind of not as well. Like, we all knew about the idol, and that it was a whole thing of touch it and you're happy but no one knew if it was that you'd see like a vision and everyone could see it or no one could see it and it was just touch it and you're happy it was kind of like a mixture of both like they touch and they're happy but no one else could see what it was like no one could see what the person that was holding the idol could see so the gang is still on the island apparently and i honestly think this is kind of like barderos and I feel like maybe when we come back from the hiatus, we might be off the island. I don't know. Because I realized Barderos, we were there for like three episodes. And this makes the third episode on the island. So I don't know. We might be off by the next episode. So like episode 11. That's personally me. I don't know. Again, it never showed any sign of them leaving the island. The last thing we saw was the king and queen looking at a lantern. And you'll figure out why later in this video. Or if you watched the episode you're just watching this now, then you know why. Anyway, everyone next to Rapunzel is like sitting on this fire and like celebrating something with the lords, even though they don't mention what they're celebrating. Like, I didn't catch anything. I don't know if they said anything, but yeah. Everyone's dancing and like sitting down and just having fun, and Lance and Hookfoot are doing this dance that seriously made me think of Fortnite for some reason. I honestly thought they were doing some sort of like Fortnite dance, like based off of one of them. <laughs> to me, if they were Fortnite dances, it, it, to me it looked like a mixture of the fresh and the boneless. I had to ask my brother on what those dances were called. And then Cassie and Gina realize, wait, Rapunzel's not here, and Cassie's like, oh, she'll probably be here going, look at them dancing, and I'm like, yeah, no one would ever want to miss that. <laughs> And it cuts to Rapunzel looking at all the lanterns that are actually on the island. And she's like looking like, oh, look at this one, it has this. And she finds one that has the Corona Crest on it. Pascal and accidentally tears it open and they find a letter in there. The letter's from the king and it says that it's been seven years since he held her. So that was written when she was seven so rapunzel read it and says stuff like i wish i could hold you again and rapunzel suddenly becomes homesick so rapunzel explains to eugene later at the fire where whatever they're celebrating and basically tells him that she's homesick and he's like don't worry it'll be gone by tomorrow turns out she still homesick the next day and she decides to go exploring with Pascal and they find like this idol and like in between like some like giant mountain or hill or whatever. And she basically picks up the idol thing and like rubs off some moss or whatever. And suddenly she hears her dad's voice and turns around and there's her dad just standing right there. And she's all like, dad, I miss you. And she's like, wait, how'd you get here? And he's like, that doesn't matter. And so she's like, I'm like so glad I can talk to you. And he's like, as long as you hold this idol or statue or whatever, then you won't feel that sadness ever again. So she decides to go show the gang. And when she's starting to go, see, look, this is my dad. She's like, re like referencing a plant that's like standing right next to her. Or not really standing. Anyway, that plant seriously looked like the magic flower to me. I don't know if they're trying to reference something, but that's what I personally thought. And since the gang can't see... Rapunzel's dad. Mom's like, wait a minute, try holding it, see if you see anything. And we got a whole list. I wrote it down on what they all saw. So I watched my video from last week to remember what I thought it like their happiness would be and which ones they actually were their happiness. So I originally thought that Rapunzel's happiness would be either like making amends with Varian or marrying Eugene. It turned out to be the people in the town and their family. For Eugene, I thought it would be him marrying Rapunzel. It was actually a ship to get off the island. 
For Cass, I thought that it would be like becoming captain of the guard or being on the guard. It turned out to be sword fighting with her dad. For Lance, I thought it would be him becoming an actor or something. It was actually becoming like a king. And for Hookfoot, I thought it would be something with Serafina. That was the only one that I got correct. It was to deal with Serafina. Thinking about all their happinesses, I noticed that both the girls had something to do with their dads, like their family. The thing that Cass sees is her dad. So I'm honestly wondering, does she miss him probably? I don't know. Two things I noticed about this. One, I originally thought it'd be something about accomplishing each other's dreams. It wasn't. Also, two, since these things are all illusions, basically no one else can see them, but they all look weird and when they're doing it. What I mean is, for example, like Eugene saw the ship and really he ended up standing on top of Maximus. Or like Lance, who was pretending to be like a king drinking like some sort of juice. He looked like he was actually drinking sand from a coconut? <laughs> Literally, their visions were so like so different from reality, and in reality, their visions looked like this. Rapunzel looked like a plant enthusiast. Eugene looked like some sort of acrobat gymnast trying to practice. Cass, gotta be honest, looked normal to me. Like we saw, and there's something about her foot. She was doing the same thing, so she's the only one who didn't look like she was drunk or like high or something to me. Lance was like full on shorty. <laughs> oh my gosh. And hopefully Louis is doing some sort of improv to me. So Princess takes that out back because she realizes that she really wants it back. And they're like, are you okay? Like, why don't you want to share? And she's like, what? No. So she takes it and she's literally running all the way like, back to the hut. She's like, ha ha, suckers! And I'm like, okay. I never thought Rapunzel would say something like that. Especially for a Disney princess to say something like that. So Pascal is noticing that Rapunzel's being a little weird and like, she's like, he's like, oh, his has to stop. Like freaking, the gang literally got into a huge fight. Like everyone was trying to sneak up on Rapunzel to take the idol and once everyone was going back and forth between taking it, they all got into this huge like brawl. That's why Rapunzel's running away screaming suckers. <laughs> So Pascal goes to tell the Lorbs about what's going on, and the Lorbs are like, holy crap, she shouldn't have that, so they go and try to take it from her. Rapunzel starts feeling a bit betrayed, and so the Lorbs are like, come on, give it to us. Like, they've got these gloves and everything, like, we take it to do a ritual to get it, like, to get you out of the spell it apparently cast on her. And so Rapunzel hands it to them, then pause. She takes it back, and then, since it reverses to more like nightmare stuff, Marion appears! Cinnamon Roll is back! Oh my gosh, when she did that and like Barry instantly appeared, I'm like, HOLY CRAP IT'S Cinnamon Roll! Like, I was jumping on my couch and like literally my couch like scooted back and I'm like, okay, I need to calm down here. My mom was like, you okay? And I'm just like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I went to my dad, I'm like, Cinnamon Roll is back! And he was like, what? And so my mom had to explain and she's and he's like, yeah. Mm. She's like, Varian's back, okay? Now get up. <laughs> well, not get up because we were already awake. Anyway! <laughs> Rapunzel has like this nightmare and ends up like knocking down the Lorbs. And so since the Lorbs are under the spell of being reversed, so now they're all like feisty. <laughs> and they end up kidnapping Rapunzel. <laughs> so Cassie and Jean find her in one of the little Lorb houses. And she explains to them what happened and they realize the Lorbs have the idol. So then now there's this huge brawl between the Lorbs and the gang, and it's just funny because I realized that Cass just like literally threw one of them across like the place. Rapunzel ends up finding the statue like somewhere on the ground and starts going up the like nice table area. I don't know, it kind of reminded me of Lion Witch Award with the stone table. Like where they were supposed to do the ritual and stuff like that. And so she's about to destroy it, but then like her dad as the illusion comes back, he's like, no, don't do this, you'll be never be happy again. And the gang is like, let's get her! And then Cass realizes, no, we need to help her destroy this thing. So the gang is trying to help her destroy it. And she does this like, awesome thing of like, happiness does not come from an object, it comes from my heart. Which is an awesome world to put in a cartoon. So Rapunzel ends up destroying the idol. For crying out loud, I can't speak today. And so she writes a letter and puts it in one of the lanterns there and sends it back to Corona. It looked like so freaking cool. It went past the broken tower and it went past the city and then the king queen see it through the window. And Rapunzel has like a little kind of mini monologue as we're seeing that 
saying like you wanted to say like hey i miss you like basically her letter said and it honestly sounded like one of her journal entries so yeah <laughs> that was happiness is that episode could not have been more per to end like the first group of episodes it's definitely one of my favorites i'd probably just say from the first 10 episodes that we got my top three would probably be happiness is Freebird and probably Force No Return or Beyond the Corona Walls. I can't decide. All I'm gonna say is it's probably all of them are my favorites because come on, it's freaking Tangled. It's the best. <laughs> so I don't know when the hiatus is gonna end and we're gonna get episodes again. Probably soon. I'm guessing it's gonna come back in October because that's what season one did. I don't know. Now, since there's no new episode next week, so I won't be able to do a review next week. I'm be doing like an every other week video. There won't be one next week, but there will be the week after that. Again, they will be Tangled related, but since we're on hiatus, then I'm not gonna be able to do a review, so I'm gonna do like different Tangled stuff. Maybe non Tangled stuff, but I doubt that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Ski Squad. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments down below. Also, tell me which episode was your favorite from these first 10, or like your top three, because there are so many good ones! Also, I will be renaming this channel. I just don't know what to rename it to. So if you have any ideas for that, let me know in the comments down below. Just at least uh, put my name in there, like CC. Like, as long as that's part of the name, then I might consider it. I'm getting ideas. I don't know when I'm going to change it, but I'm going to change it once I find one I like. Same will go to for my TikTok once this channel changes. My TikTok will always be the name of my channel. Speaking of TikTok, my TikTok is CC Music Mermaid, all lowercase, and my Disney and Tangled the Series Amino is Cassandra with the sword emoji before her name and after her name. I am very active on my Tangled the Series Amino, so if you want more Tangled stuff, go follow me there. Also, today is August 26th. You know what that means? Happy Fitz Pancake Day! Basically, Eugene and pancakes. Nice. Eugene is probably mad at me because I didn't have pancakes, I had waffles because I couldn't have pancakes. I don't have pancakes, so I had waffles! Yeah, he's probably mad at me. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Mwah. Bye!